third major Supreme Court announcement. It's huge. One of the oldest liberal justices on the Supreme Court has made an announcement that has left conservatives disappointed. Despite her old age, Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg doesn't plan on retiring anytime soon, according to the Washington Examiner. Many have speculated that Justice Ginsburg's position would be one of many that President Trump might be finding candidates for in the future. Unfortunately, rumors that the aging justice will retire on her own volition in the near future seems to be incorrect. As long as I can do the job full steam, I will do it, said the 84-year-old at an Equal Justice Works event on Friday. I used to have an answer that worked for a lot of years, Justice Ginsburg said, concerning a possible future retirement. It was Justice Brandeis when he was appointed. He was the same age as I was, 60, and he stayed for 23 years, so I expect to stay at least as long. Well, now I've passed Brandeis. I've passed Justice Felix Frankfurter. Overall, Justice Ginsburg has served on the Supreme Court for 24 years and is currently the oldest justice serving in the position. Many liberals see her as an icon and representative of their views of the, on the court and are hoping that she will stay for the full duration of the Trump presidency because we need a liberal idiot in there, don't we? Justice Ginsburg has been vocal, a vocal critic of the president. That's why the liberals are all for her. Telling the New York Times in July of 2016 that I can't imagine what this place would be. I can't imagine what this country would be with Donald Trump as our president. For the country, it could be four years. For the court, it could be. I don't even want to contemplate that according to The Hill. Another, uh, what would this country be if Trump wasn't elected and we got Hillary only giving Obama's like viewpoints, the disgusting, terrible, our country would be a disaster at that point. Although the justice uh, later apologized for the remark, she revived the sentiment just recently in September telling Charlie Rose of CBS News that sexism had a role in Trump's victory. Really? Do I think so? I have no doubt, she answered. Justice Ginsburg, when asked whether sexism had a role in the election, this is what we had in our country, you see? You see why we're in a mess? There are so many things, there are so many things that might have been uh, decisive, she uh, hedged, but that was a major, major factor. Sexism? So in other words, she's insulting uh, all of America, or America's women that voted for Trump. I mean, uh, is she for real? President Trump had recently predicted that he would be able to appoint four new conservative judges to the Supreme Court in his first term, speculating that Justices Anthony Kennedy and Ruth Bader Ginsburg would be the first two to leave. Although this recent announcement from the 84-year-old senile woman might throw a wrench in the president's plan. There are many other liberal justices on, on the court who could leave soon. Judge uh, Kennedy has expressed a desire to retire, and Sonia Sotomayor is uh, speculated to retire since she has suffered from type 1 diabetes since she was 7 years old. She acknowledges that diabetes is a constant part of my life. And why add that into the story? I mean, really? For so many Americans, the issue of Supreme Court nominations is of particular importance. According to an NBC exit poll, 22% of voters in the 2016 election said it was the most important factor in their decision making. Although Trump's first replacement of Justice Scalia with Justice Gorsuch, both conservatives did little to alter the balance on the court, if President Trump is able to appoint even one more conservative replacement for one of the liberal justices, conservatives across the nation will feel safe knowing 
that the Constitution will be protected for many years to come. And that's why they got rid of Scalia, uh, Scalia and that's why uh, Obama was hell-bent on appointing his own judge, and they stopped him. They said, no, you can't do it till the president comes in. A new president coming in, that's who appoints And he was hell-bent, I remember that, on uh, appointing, uh, you know, an another liberal nut job, in other words. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.